So the question on everybody's lips is, are we going to do an FM22 simulation where wolves actually do all right? I'm hoping that today is going to be that day. I've gone ahead and put wolves in Portugal, in the Liga Nos, to see how they get on there. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome back to another FM22 video here on the channel then with me. Clayton, today's video, I've got to move Wolves from the Premier League to the Liga Nos in Portugal because I really think it's time that we were successful in one of these simulations. We're going to go forward five years once again. We're going to do it one season at a time and see how the club get on. But now we're not playing in England. We're playing in Portugal. I think this is the one where we're going to win games. I think we might even win the league by the end of the five years. What do you think? Get your predictions down below in the comments before we start. And I guess let's get into it. Here we go then jumping into the save file. You can now see Wolves are listed as being 18th in the Portuguese Premier League, otherwise known as the Liga Nos. And we're only 18th because it's alphabetical. You see us in there with the likes of Porto, Benfica, one or two other ones as well. I think Wolves are set up pretty well to do well in this league. They've, of course, got plenty of Portuguese players in the game. Let me look, just show you them here. There they are. Look, the likes of Fabio Silva and Nelson Semedo, Ruben Neves, Daniel Poden, Jao Moutinho, and then some other ones as well, of course. Will they do better now that they're in their homeland? Will we see them? up their performances and will they do better than the other simulations that we've done so far i, I mean we we have to right we just have to i'm hoping that's going to be the case anyway what i do want to see before we go and simulate the first season and see how it goes i do want to see what the odds are pre-season where do they predict that we're going to finish now that we are in the league and nos they predict oh my word they predict we're going to finish fourth behind porto behind benfica behind sporting now do i agree with that no, not really. I think we can do better than that. We'll, of course, check in with some of the player stats as well. I think that could be interesting to track here. Will we see Raul go and score more goals than he does in the Premier League now that he's playing in Portugal? Or will he score less? Will we see more from the likes of Jao Moutinho and Ruben Neves in the midfield? I hope so. And also, we will keep an eye on the transfers as well. Will we go and sign more Portuguese players now that we're playing in Portugal? Or will we actually go and sign some Premier League players now? Who knows? We will find out at the end of each season. And I think that means... It's time to go forward one year's time and get ourselves to July 2022. I'll see you there. Now, here we are then one year into the save. 2022 is now the date. And I've just seen the available jobs, Benfica. That, that bodes well, right? That means that Wolves have probably finished above them if they've sacked their manager. Let's go and check on the league standings and see where we have finished after one year season okay oh okay i mean there we go that's not really showing it but it does say it right there title holders wolves we've won something we've actually won in one of these simulations it's been so i mean we've done what this is the third one and we've been terrible in pretty much every simulation finally some success though title holders let's have a look at that table there it is in all its glory. Wolves above Porto, above Sporting, above Braga and above Benfica who finished fifth in the league there. Very disappointing from them. We've exceeded our expectations. 28 wins out of 34. Two draws, four losses. Actually, I actually do want to see the schedule a bit. Was there any really big... I mean, we've won 8-0 there. We've won 7-0 there. I think those are in the cups. Look at this great run of wins here in a row. A few losses in this patch here around about February, January. And then a nice finish after that as well. A 4-1 win against Aruka in the final league game. We did lose the PT Cup to Benfica though. Moutinho did score, but we've lost that one 2-1. Otherwise, what a season that is. Let's go back to that league table. There it is. Just four losses. 100 goals scored. Surely that will mean that Raul's helped himself to a fair few goals here. Maybe even Fabio Silva, maybe some others too. 44 conceded a goal difference of 56, which was the joint second best in the league. 86 points though. This bodes well for the future. And I did notice as well, by the way, Bruno's still in a job. In the other two simulations, he was sacked in both of them. He's kept his job in Portugal. Maybe this is just what we need to do. Move to Portugal and win everything. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? It would be really nice. Let's have a look at the tactics. Does it show us what we're playing? We're playing... This 5-2-3. Oh my word, with strikers along. Adama Traore, striker through the middle. In this system here, it's got Moutinho playing alongside Jordao in the midfield. Adama, Huang Hee Chan and Fabio Silva as the strikers. I'm looking at the goals being scored here. 15 for Fabio. 21 goals. Our top goal scorer, Adama Traore, playing as a striker. Huang Hee Chan on 20. Maybe there's a few players that are not in this team here. Have I just noticed? Connor Cody. 
has gone out on loan. Why does he get sold in every one of these simulations? I swear he goes to Villa in every single one of these simulations. I do want to see the league standings for player stats as well. Okay, Raul's come third top goal scorer with 21. Jao Moutinho with the third best average rating. Jao oh my word, Jao Moutinho's got 26 assists in the first season. That is incredible. Let me just see his numbers here. That is that is outrageous. I assume he's on set pieces, which FM22 set pieces, they're a thing, right? But 26 assists is magnificent. I think that is some start. So that is some, that's going to be very, very difficult to beat. It does also mean Champions League football next year. We are definitely going to need to keep an eye on that when we sim forward one more season. But I think that's exactly what we're going to do. I'll see you in one more year in 2023. Here we are then in 2023 and I've got some bad news for you. We've not won the league again. So after a brilliant first season, second season, it's not quite as effective. It's not quite as successful. We finished fifth and Sporting are now the champions. 21 wins from the 34. That is not quite as good. Maybe it was the Champions League football, you know, play, trying to play Europe and play in the league games. It, maybe it was too much. Who knows? We're going to check out that Champions League run. And also then we will go season by season, but I think we'll leave the transfers until the end. And I'll just go through all of them. Otherwise, you're going to have me rambling on and on and on. So let's have a look at the results in this season. I want to see this Champions League run. We played, so the first Champions League game is here. We played Ajax. We played Lazio. We played Rangers. I'm looking at some of the results and I'm looking down. I don't think we qualified from the group. This is bad news. Champions League group stage. We were group A, weren't we? Oh, we finished bottom of the group on four points. We've only won one of our six games and it was 5-3 against Ajax. A very disappointing Champions League run there. Did we do anything else? I mean, we won the League Cup with a penalties win against Porto. And then we finished fifth in the league. Overall, I think it's a disappointing season. A nice little cup win, though, to follow up the league win the season before, I suppose. That's not too bad. Fifth, though, does mean I think we qualify for the Europa League 2, the Conference League for next year. We'll see how that goes. Maybe we've got a good chance of winning that, actually. I do also just want to check the tactics. Is it the same? It is similar, as you see there. Player performance. Oh, my words. Raul Jimenez has scored 46 goals in 49 games. That is incredible. What has happened there? What a goal scorer Raul Jimenez is if you put him in the Portuguese league. Patrick Coutrone back at the club getting 22 goals. He's got a transfer range as well. He's going to Krasnodar. He went for big money in one of these simulations. I don't think that's going to be the case in this one. Adama Traore still playing as a striker, which is very fun, but scoring goals, 10 goals in 41 as well. There are some signings in there, which I'm sure you can spot. We'll go through all of the signings at the end, as I mentioned. What we're going to do now then is I think we're going to jump to season number three. Here we are in season number three, and I've got some much better news. After finishing only fifth last year, this time we are once again the champions. 89 points, 29 games won out of 34. That is an unbelievable season. 89 points overall. Only losing three all year. One of them to Sporting. One of them a 6-2 loss to Porto, which is less good. Let me just check as well, actually. Who was the top goal scorer in the league? Okay, it was Raul Jimenez. He got 30. I had a feeling that might be the case. 30 league goals is insane. Jao Moutinho has been excellent both all, all three years so far. 16 assists for him in that one as well. Is Bruno still the manager? You'd assume so. He is. This is the one save where he's not getting sacked. All the other simulations, he seems to. This is great. He's also now a favoured personnel at the club as well, which is great news. You've got an icon status for Raul Jimenez. Wow, that's cool. That is, I mean, he probably deserves it. 46 goals, was it, in 49 games? Insane. Let's go forward one more season to 2025. 2025 is here then. And let's check the league table. Are we going to be successful again? Yes, we are. Title holders once again. Wolves, you do love to see it. That is now what? Three out of four seasons, I think, right? That we've been the champions. An 85-point season this time. 27 wins out of 34. Only three losses again. None of them against Porto or Sporting or Benfica, which is, which is probably surprising, actually. 102 goals for... Wow. I mean, that does that mean that Raul scored another shed load of goals? Not really. He wasn't the top goal scorer. He's got 20, which is very, very respectable, but not quite as many as before. Sheka is now the top assist maker, meaning has Jao Moutinho retired maybe, or is he just not playing as much? Sheka, who has been signed from Lille for this year, another Portuguese signing. We'll look at all of those signings. Don't worry. Did Moutinho retire or did he leave? He's now, oh yeah, he's retired. He's now a coach. I feel like we should sign him as a coach, but he has retired after some excellent seasons in the save. Very, very good from him. A very good season overall. 
Bruno still in charge? Yes, he is. You do love to see it. Excellent work. Is Raul Jimenez an, a legend yet? Not yet. Not yet. He's still an icon. Any new icons? Jamutinho was made an icon. And Paulinho. I think he was signed recently, right? 600k signed from Zenit. And he's already an icon at the club. Pretty good. Let's just check in with the tactics. There you see the team. Guga, Chiquinho. Adama still playing as a striker. Medi Taremi from Porto there. Paulinho. The team has changed a lot. That doesn't show Jimenez in the starting lineup. He's still got 26 goals. Maybe this was just their most recent game. I'm not sure. Let's go through to the final season of the save. Can we make it four Liga Nos titles out of five? And we'll finally, finally get the success that we deserve. Let's go and see by going to the final season. Here we are then in season number five, 2026. And... I've just seen it there. We are once again Liga Nos champions. If I show you the league table, it's another league win. 86 point season, 15 points the gap to the second place team Braga there. 28 games won out of 34, just four losses. Again, only Benfica. We didn't lose to Porto. We must have beaten them home and away. Oh, I forgot. We haven't checked the Champions League runs, have we? In these past couple of seasons. Winning the league means we qualified for it. Did we do any good in there? Let's check. Is Bruno still the manager? He is. That's the first time we've got to the end of a simulation. He's still in charge. Did Raul become a legend? No. But he is still, of course, an icon, as well as a couple of other players in the save. Some new favoured personnel in there as well, actually. Let's look. I want to know, how do we do in the Champions League? Did we did we win it in this final season? I mean, winning it would ridi be ridiculous, wouldn't it? I don't think we've won it. Did we do any good? No, is the answer. We must have gone out in a group stage. Group F. We must have gone out in the groups. Okay, we finished bottom of the group again. So that is no good. Champions League has not gone well for us. I mean, we've got another season to check. The season before this. How do we do in this season? I mean, we've lost the first game. No, the second game. We beat Lille. Lost to Leipzig. Did we go through? Okay, we've gone through. We've beaten PSG as well in the first leg. Did we go through that? We lost to them. Oh, yeah, we must have gone through. We're through to the quarterfinals. Oh, my word. Oh, I, what have I just seen? We've gone through the quarterfinals. We've beaten Bayern 3-1 and then, well, drew 0-0 and then beat them 3-1 away from home. Very late goals from Mehdi Taremi there to see us through. And then we, oh, we lost. We played Liverpool in the semi-final of the Champions League. What a run that must have been. And we did lose quite heavily to Liverpool in that one. 6-1 on aggregate. But we actually did have a successful Champions League run then. That's good to know. I do also want to see at the end of this simulation then. What does the team look like at the end? There it is. 2026. You've got lots of goals coming from Raul Jimenez. Still 29. Adama Traor is scoring 25. And some very new names in there. We'll also look at the transfers brought in as well. I'll just go through them in this order as well. Final season we spent £55 million. Just one or two to pick out. I'll let you guys have a look at them. I'll scroll through. See if you find any interesting names in there. Make sure you get them in the comments if you do see them as well. Some big sales in there as well, actually. Keanu Hoover went to Manchester United. Max Kilman went to Leeds, which seems a bit disappointing. I'll scroll down those as well. Willie Bolly went to, to Trabs on Spore and a free along with Roman Saiz, which is... It's nice that they've gone together to play centre-back together at Trabs on Spore. Let's go back another season. Only £16 million spent here. The biggest signing being Chiquinho. Did we sign any free transfers or anything? Not really in there. There are the sales. Not really anybody sold there. And then the seasons before that, £78 million spent here. Ruben Vezo, a Portuguese centre-back. Lots of money spent on him. I'll show you the others as well in case I don't quite pick them out. £28 million for Ait Nouri. £26 million. Neto went to Real Madrid. Morgan Gibbs were. We sold Fabio Silva to Burnley for £26.5 million. What are you playing at? We're back in Portugal. Surely you want Fabio to be playing, right? Apparently not in this universe. There's the signings of the season before that. Diogo Late, Barrow is a good signing, I think. There are the, some of the sales. We talked about the fact that Connor Cody went to Villa, as he seems to always do. And then I think most of these first ones happened in real life anyway. I think, though, let's go back to this league table. I think, overall, that was a very, very successful simulation. We'll leave it there for today. If I missed anything, get it in the comments down below. I'm sure I did. And also, if you have any ideas for future videos, also get those down in the comments too. If you did enjoy this type of FM22 simulation, then make sure you go and check out my personal channel. It's just Clates on YouTube, and we do lots of videos like this. Lots of fun that we have over there. So go and subscribe over there if you enjoyed it but most importantly have a lovely rest of your day i'll catch you in the next one of these thanks for watching bye bye